What is rotary damper and how does it work? This is a toilet seat with a soft closing mechanism, which is commonly found in our daily lives. This is a PMMA door with soft closing from top to bottom. These are different types of rotary dampers. They have different shapes, different sizes, and a different material. Like this one is made from metal, but the plastic inside. And this are made from plastic. Uh, this is made from uh, zinc alloy. And this one, the body is plastic, but the shaft is zinc alloy. So regardless of the types of dampers, the mechanisms are similar. Inside, we normally use silicon oil to generate resistance force when an external force applied to it, allowing for a smooth and uh, gentle movement. The two videos we just showed you uh, use different dampers. For the toilet seat, we use a limited angle damper, also named wind damper. Normally, its working angle is 110 degrees. And for the PMM door, we use an infinite angle damper, which can rotate 360 degrees. For the limited angle, uh, when the body is fixed, this feature is to fix the body. The shaft can relatively rotate. So the silicon oil inside can gradually and slowly pass through a one-way valve, uh, generating rotary torque. The one-way valve also enable easy opening of the toilet seat. It allows the silicon oil to flow back to the other side with very less resistance. So to select the right damper for your product, it's important to know the damper's direction of operation, clockwise or counterclockwise. The next type of damper is the infinite angle damper, which includes gear damper, uh, barrier damper, and the disc dampers. These dampers can rotate in full circle uh, in both directions, both clockwise and counterclockwise. And the, the work me mechanism is similar to the wind damper. To achieve different torque value, we can either adjust the viscosity of the silicon oil or modify the clearance between the rotation shaft and the body. For the gear damper, there are the, these two ears are provided for easy mounting and, uh, uh, and uh, for fixing the damper. For the barrier damper, also these two ears are, are provided for fitment. And there's a hole in the middle to, uh, for a metal shaft. Similarly, uh, this disc damper have a square hole for, uh, for a shaft and uh, two ears for, for fitment. The limited angle damper is born to be unidirectional, which means it has resistance only in one direction. Uh, the infinite angle damper is typically bidirectional, but a one-way bearing can be added to make it unidirectional, and the cost is higher, uh, like this one. In clockwise direction, the resistance is there, but in counterclockwise direction, the resistance is almost zero. One key difference between limited angle and the infinite angle damper is the force curve. In the case of a toilet seat damper, the torque value changes from 90 degree to zero degree due to the movement of the least gravity center, reaching maximum torque at zero degree, so that you can see that the soft closing is on the uniform speed. On the other hand, the torque value of an infinite angle damper remains consistent at every angle. Although there are different types of rotary dampers, if they all use silicon oil as the resistance media, they all have the same temperature and the speed characteristic. That is to say, the lower temperature, the higher the resistance, the faster the speed, the, the higher the resistance. and vice versa. This is therefore important to consider your working environment and uh, then choosing the uh, right dampers. Thank you for watching.